Hey folks, how's it going? Thanks for joining us for another episode of QNAP Live. Uh, I'm Eric with Marketing with QNAP and this is Hernan. What's up, dude? How's it going? Thanks for coming back again. Thank you. We didn't torture you enough last week. <laughs> how's life? How's coaching? Life's great. Cool. Coaching's good. This guy yeah. coaches like 150 teams. He's superly active in his community and whatever five minutes he has left, he works here at QNAP. So. That's right. Anywho, thanks for joining us. This is part two of our one-two punch episode. Last week, we talked about QSync versus backup. And we talked about the benefits of QSync, how it applies to you in your home life, as well as your business world. Um, and this week, we're going to be talking about the benefits of backup versus QSync. Uh, the benefits of backup, uh, some user cases for home, for business and enterprise, and... Um, just briefly about QSync. QSync again, it's a centralized, it's a convenient backup. It's like a shared folder that you, a shared folder that you put on your NAS that is good for collaboration. You have multiple users uh, accessing your QSync file. Um, you can upload stuff, download stuff, work on a project, and also share your stuff with QSync. Uh, you have multiple devices uh, mul and for specific files if you want to put on your QSync folder. Backup is a little more elaborate. This is a, it's more a complete backup of your, your, your system. Uh, you can back up your devices, you can back up your PCs, your, your Macs. Uh, you can also back up multiple, like for on, on, in a business, you can back up multiple machines to your, to your NAS. So today we're gonna be talking about that. Um, Hernan, first let's talk about backup for home. Sure. Um, tell us a little bit, some benefits, some user cases for, you know, for backing up for a, for a home user. Good, okay. Um, we here at QNAP, we talk about backing up um, and here what we recommend and what we train in our webinars and our, in our, in our field training, um, when it comes to home users is, is utilizing the QNAP, the free QNAP app called Netback Replicator. Okay. And what Netback does is it, you, you load it on, it's a small little client that you load onto your PC. Okay. And what it does is it, it gets you the data onto your QNAP, but it's a very, very basic basic application. Mm -hmm. So it'll just, you, you tell it, get this and put it here. Right. Okay. So it's very basic, but it's free and it works mm -hmm. great for home use. I highly recommend it. I use it and it works really, really well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then from there, what we recommend is, so now you're getting all of your data off of your PCs, your machine, your laptops and all your right. computers, getting it onto the QNAP NAS. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once it's on the QNAP NAS in your house, you want to get it off of the home, out of the home. Right. And the reason is because you can. There's a lot of things that can happen, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about natural disasters, fires, earthquakes, floods, you know, theft. So losing your stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what you want to do, what you want to do is have that NAS, mm -hmm. and then replicate the data to another QNAP off off premise and off site. Right. So we highly recommend that. And utilizing, as I mentioned, step number one would be using the NetBack replicator. And step number two is utilizing the QNAP function, the RTRR, which stands for remote replication, real-time remote replication. And it creates a, a exact copy of one QNAP okay, and it sends it to another. Mm -hmm. So those are the steps we, we recommend from home. Um, the details, uh, you can find them on our website. We have videos, training videos about how to do this step by step. Mm -hmm. You guys go and check it out. So, but also, I mean, besides your 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 machines, uh, your your laptops at home, you can also back up. I mean, multiple stuff. You can back up your thumb drives. Mm -hmm. You can back up external drives. Um, you can yep. also back up your mobile devices if you want to do backups of all everything mm -hmm. on your on your mobile devices as well. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Definitely. And it's highly something we highly recommend. Right. When it can be your data, it can be your contacts, it can be a lot of things. Right. Your collection uh, of pictures, like, you know, videos, kids, pictures, your, yeah. music, everything, stuff. you know, old pictures. We highly recommend you guys. Right. Not only is it safe because the QNAP obviously is in a RAID, in a RAID format, mm -hmm. um, but at the same time you have it backed up and then off, off premise somewhere. Off -premise. And easy to find, easy to access. Right. You know? Just run a quick, uh, you know, uh, key search and then type in the keyword of your picture and it'll pop up really fast. So right. Easy to use. I don't know. So that's how you would, for home users, how you would back up. I mean, tell us a little bit about like for business use, uh, what's some benefits of backup for, for like yeah. business and enterprise? Good question. Yeah. For business, it's a little different. And obviously, because businesses, they have larger servers, they have SQL servers, and they mm -hmm. have, you know, more detailed um, uh, data. There's data that's still being kept in the RAM of, mm -hmm. the, of, the, of the server. So they need something a little bit more robust. Mm -hmm. uh, Third-party software for backup right. is, is highly recommended. 
Um, and QNAP works, you know, works well with most most of uh, third-party backup softwares, right. where it can get to the granular data uh, within these servers and within these in each of the machines. Mm -hmm. um, so the same thing, they they all get backed up into the QNAP NAS system. Mm -hmm. The QNAP NAS is then from there, it's being sent over to another QNAP NAS system, perhaps in a data center, you backed know, up, secure. Anywhere exactly. off-site location. Right, right. exactly, exactly. Uh, some companies, because of protocol, they actually will require another copy be sent to a cloud. Right. And the great thing about the QNAP is that it's very cloud-friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we so have a list of different third-party cloud. Exactly. You know, it's all, all depending on what your preference is, but mm -hmm. we have we have a bunch. You can check out our website for that. Yep, yep. Um, like Eric said, we have a lot of all the apps, um, you know, that uh, that are you know cloud technology, mm -hmm. cloud based, work with the QNAP. So it'll actually get it from the QNAP and it'll send it up to the cloud, and then vice versa. You can actually download from the cloud as well to the QNAP. So mm -hmm. um, multiple different. machines as well. Like if you have different mm -hmm. machines in your in your office or off site, you yep. could also back up to the NAS. And as well. correct. And then the same thing. The mm -hmm. same thing. You can use different cloud providers within one QNAP system. Um, so that works out very well. So very obviously different steps, different types of security, you right. know, for different different corporations. Also automated. I mean, you could you could schedule these backups mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So schedule them off, off, you know, and not peak hours. If you want to yes. not take up your bandwidth, you can do it uh, every night. You can schedule um, weekly, daily, however you mm -hmm. want to do backups. Right. Um, also like uh, virtual uh, like VM backups as well. You can mm -hmm. you can back up your VMs. Um, iSCSI LUN well. backups. Um, time Machine, I mean, mm -hmm. for Mac users, yep. you can do Time Machine backups, Snapshot uh, backups as well. Yep. Um, one thing, another important aspect of backup is ransomware. Um, it's you know, It's been a, a key, a buzzword you've been hearing in the last year or so. Mm -hmm. uh, Wanna Cry Virus, there's been, been invited, uh, quite a few different types of ransomware out there. Um, this week we just heard about LG, they got they got pretty bad, <laughs> pretty badly attacked and, right. and their systems were offline. Mm -hmm. um, for those who don't know what ransomware is, um, I mean, it's it's basically a virus that takes over your device, your mobile device, your laptops, and your data is taken for ransom. You have to pay some Bitcoin to get your data back, and um, it's pretty pretty ugly. It's been happening around the world. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about what QNAP would what QNAP offers for sure. ransomware, like ransomware mm -hmm. backups. How do you protect yourself from ransomware with QNAP? Right, Eric. And so you are correct. It's it's not only individuals. Some people think, oh, you know, it's only going to happen to a person, you know, that's that's sitting at home. Right. It, it's not. It happens to corporations. You know, it, it's over 200,000 people have been infected worldwide, and they've had to pay or they'd have to destroy their, you know, their, their machine is it's, it's done, right? So it happens. It, it's not just one person. It's not no. just one corporation. It, it, it can happen to anyone. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about the QNAP is that, remember, you already have your data stored. Mm -hmm. You have it backed up. So if somebody says, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold your data ransom," what do you say? I don't care. I already have a copy of it. Hey, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you call your IT. You know your IT manager. He comes in. He reformats your system, and they gets all the data that's already backed up on your key app back on your back on your PC, and you're up and running easily in a couple. You know, maybe a couple hours. Just right. the format and then recopying of the data, right. and you're up and running. You know, so again, we got to be one step ahead, you know, one step ahead of the bad guys, one step ahead of disaster and always have that, you know, always have that, um, that safety net, mm -hmm. you know, it's really important. It's your insurance, man. Mm -hmm. You yeah. back up your, your car keys, you back up, you, know, you make copies of, of pretty much anything in life. You know, yeah. you might as well back up, you always have a backup of your data. It's have a copy of it. important. Right, right, definitely. Cloud backups too. If you use cloud backups such as you know, for home, back to kind of on the home users, what I, what I use my NAS, I mean, I have my, uh, my uh, my Dropbox, and I've been using that for a while. Um, I want to back up my Dropbox. You can back up your Dropbox, back up all your. You can make copies of your Dropbox to your NAS too. So I mean, it's 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 backing up your third your cloud stuff. You can back it up onto your NAS, and vice versa. You can back up your stuff back. You can back up your NAS onto your to your cloud service as well. Um, so now we're gonna get into a little video, a little example of how to how here's a video case study. Uh, one of our customers, Hey Guy Media. Um, of how they use um, uh, a QNAP NAS to back up to another QNAP NAS with RTRR uh, out in the field. And let's check out that video. We're here in our New England office and QNAP has been kind enough to send us a TS-251A. We have a rather fun idea on how to use this unit in our production workflow. 
while our crew is at Toy Fair in New York City, they're going to take all their footage and load it onto the QNAP TS-251A. And using the real-time remote replication features, all the footage is going to come back to us here in the office. And it's going to automatically synchronize with our TVS-1282T. It was very easy for the crew in New York to get us all the footage they needed to. All they had to do was load it onto the QNAP into the right folder, and then the QNAP took care of the rest for us. The TS-251A with its real-time remote replication feature helped us out by allowing teams in different cities to collaborate and share media. I think it'll be a really great tool for helping us share media and improve our workflow. So there you have it, folks. Uh, that's some examples of how uh, the benefits of backup, um, how you could utilize backup for, for home, for your business, for enterprise use. And um, again, it's your added security. It's your, it's your insurance policy for all of your data. Um, I mean, you have your years of, for, you know, I keep, I keep referring back to, to home users. I mean, I, I use my, my QNAP every day for, for backup, all my years of photos, all my, all my music, you know, terabytes of music that I, you know, I still have MP3s that I just I can't let go, man. <laughs> so, um, there you have it. Thank you, Hernan, for joining us. Uh, thank you for tuning in and, um, check out our next episode next week. I uh, will, uh, get back to you with the topic. Uh, of uh, for our next QNAP live video. We greatly appreciate it. And uh, until next time, take care.